Welcome back. They are rightful named kings and queens, the royalty of butterflies, quite possibly the most familiar butterfly in North America. The monarch butterfly is an iconic pollinator that goes on a mighty migration, some up to 3,000 miles through North America. Wildlife expert, my friend, and Zoo Miami's own Ron McGill traveled to the origin of their journey, and his son, Sean McGill, shot, edited, and produced a mesmerizing feature on this fluttering phenomenon. Monarchs are an iconic butterfly found around the world. However, the eastern North American subspecies is the only one to make a migration that can span thousands of miles. This incredible journey involves several generations and can include many millions of butterflies. The amazing odyssey begins in the highlands of central Mexico on the transvolcanic belt west of Mexico City, where in 1986, the Mexican government designated approximately 140,000 acres of forests as a monarch butterfly biosphere. And in 2008, it was officially designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Of all the reserves within the biosphere, El Rosario is the best known and is the wintering ground for the largest number of monarchs in the world, sometimes numbering over 100 million. In March, the butterflies begin to leave Mexico and head north, laying their eggs on the milkweed plants they require to reproduce. Shortly after they lay their eggs, they die. When the eggs hatch, those butterflies continue to head north and lay their eggs. This process repeats itself for two to three generations until the monarchs reach their northern range in the U.S. and southern Canada. Around August, the eggs laid by the last generation to travel northward begin to hatch. However, unlike the previous generations that only lived several weeks, this super generation lives eight to nine months. And whereas it took several generations of butterflies to reach the northern part of their range, this super generation will take a little over two months to fly all the way back to central Mexico to winter in the same place where their great-great-grandparents began this epic odyssey. If there is such a thing as an enchanted forest, it's easy to see how this could be it. With millions upon millions of monarch butterflies wintering here each year, it is the single greatest congregation of butterflies anywhere on Earth. This annual natural phenomenon wasn't discovered until the mid-1970s, when a Canadian scientist named Dr. Fred Urquhart enlisted citizen scientists to tag individual butterflies so they could be tracked and their migration patterns discovered. The butterflies arrive in Mexico for the winter around the beginning of November. At over 10,000 feet above sea level, the temperatures in the reserves can often fall below freezing, and the butterflies gather motionless in huge clusters high in the 100-foot fir trees, in a state of hibernation for several weeks. As the temperatures begin to rise in mid-January, the butterflies wait for the rays of the sun to penetrate the forest and they slowly begin to shiver and open their wings to absorb the heat. Once the temperature reaches approximately 60 degrees Fahrenheit, they begin to fly and search for nectar to refuel close to the forest floor. In addition to the natural beauty provided by this phenomenon, this migration has also proven to be an economic benefit to the local communities, as thousands of visitors travel from around the world to experience it. It has also helped to connect nations in an effort to work together to help preserve the natural treasures that are important to the quality of life for all of us. The rest of the world should care about the monarchs because we are now working together with US and Canada to protect the monarchs. As we understand, they are connecting our countries so we can help each other. And for the rest of the world, they should follow us in such a way to protect the world for everyone. In the heat of the day, countless thousands of butterflies descend to the creek bed to drink and create what appears to be an endless carpet of wings. As you look up, the skies are filled with butterflies. There are so many monarchs flying around you that you can actually hear their wings fluttering. As you look down, you see the countless dead butterflies that have come to the end of their journey and will be absorbed by the forest floor to help feed the Oyamel fir trees that will protect future generations of these amazing insects. Since reaching critical lows in 2013, the numbers of monarchs migrating into Mexico have begun to rise. Thanks to the efforts of the Mexican government to protect these forests, combined with programs in Canada and the United States to plant milkweed and other wildflowers along the migration routes, it is the hope that this trend continues so that future generations can experience one of nature's most amazing spectacles. In Michoacan, Mexico, I'm Ron McGill. Fascinating.
That was amazing. Wow. And Ron tells us that this was an emotional journey for him because according to folklore, Mexicans believe that butterflies are the spirits of their departed ancestors. And if you saw in that final stand-up, Ron amazingly had a butterfly resting on his chest and then it flutters off right to wow. the camera as Sean is filming it. Well, Ron says that it happened naturally and that he'd like to believe that it was a sign from his father who passed away 28 years ago and never had a chance to meet his grandson. Sean, that maybe it was a sign. That's amazing. And just Sean's photography. I mean, being a reporter and knowing what goes into capturing those images, the shutter speeds and focusing on those butterflies. That's it was really, really art some artistic. National Geographic stuff going amazing. on there, right? Amazing. Wow. Great I could job, watch that guys. again.